So, hey guys, Chauce here. Today we're taking on Garb Challenge Revo 2 and we're going to be using a Mono Roger Pirates te team. Well, I decided I wanted to do a team with We3 Ray League 6 Plus for this content. And I just had to decide what will I use as other captain. And then I just got this idea to do Roger Pirates. And yeah, Ray League really nice. The main thing with this captain is that he can reduce attack down by 10 turns. And you get attack down twice this content. So it's very helpful for team building. Special is also nice. We're going to be able to use it early to ignore defensive effects and get that nice attack boost for and or boost for Slasher to Gabriel Fighter. And then final stage, we can use him again. He'll be ready again. And then we can make use of his added ability to change block corps, which is essential for this team. So I feel like this team really makes full use of the Ray League buffs, both in Captain and Special. Rest of the team, well, I had to decide who to captain him with. And the choice was basically, do I do we one Roger? Or do I do Roger Odin? And yeah, I felt like, let's use the newest one. He's more, in, they are more interesting in general. We even get to fit Odin on the team. And the main thing with Roger is that he's a good captain. And the fact that we can use the EX to get one orbs, which is really important for one particular stage. Otherwise, <laughs> They don't, I don't really use Roger and Odin a lot, except for that they are really important for one particular stage. And yeah, we'll talk about the rest of the units as we play through the content, but yeah. This was very easy. We even get to use the Oro Jackson. It's just perfect. So yeah, I'm going to use a common strat that you can use if you want to no-stall speedrun but you don't have any barrier pens for the turtles. And that's to target that specific turtle. And by doing that, you will automatically be able to kill all of the rest without doing any manual swap shenanigans or such. The main issue of course is you might not be able to get the CD you need, but yeah, not a problem with this team. Uh, we also want to get enough orbs for Shanks versus special, but it shouldn't really be any major RNG. We have a majority of Psy and Int units. We'll have occasions when we get guaranteed orbs. We don't really need a lot of random Psy and Int orbs at all. And yeah, we use Rayleigh for the first time. Take note here. You will see that not all units get the buffs. 6 plus V3 Rayleigh has, Rayleigh has one very odd design decision. It's the fact that Despite being a slasher now and boosting slashes, river and fighter with the attack and war boost, his barrier piercing ability or defensive piercing ability is only for cerebral and fighter. So slashers that aren't cerebral fighter can't ignore defensive effects, which is honestly a baffling decision. Thankfully, it's not a deal breaker, but it's just a very odd decision by Bandai. Which does make him worse, but it's just something you have to be aware of, really. And yeah, just need to take out two units here and we'll be good. And as you see, Shanks is basically charged already and we're not going to use his versus special for a bit longer. And yeah, we'll be able to keep Relic's uh, final tap buff here or end of turn, end of chain buff. I don't know what I call it, but final tap buff sounds incorrect since it's not a buff for the final tap, it's the buff for the final hit in the chain. It's a bit confusing with the potential ability. But yeah, with using the EX, we have three guaranteed one of orbs. So the goal is that we kill Sabo with everybody but Roger Odin. And Roger Odin will be able to do a super big hit on Koala with the base attack boost from the EX, as well as the end of uh, chain tap buff from Rayleigh Special. And yeah, we're actually going to use two specials against Morley. Not something I commonly have done, I can say. But yeah, we use Buggy first. He handles everything except 
for one turn of resilience. And if you're trying to do a no stall team like this is, that's not just something you can ignore. So that's why I'm also using Shank special here, which also has the nice bonus of giving us a lot of extra damage with his ore boost. But he also has the Arena Mihawk support, which will let him remove the final resilience. And we'll still be able to use Shanks later to get more damage with the Versus special, so all good. And yeah, we still have Buggy's Shame Boundary here for some extra damage, and that will be enough to kill this stage without any specials used, basically. It's pretty funny this content because a lot of units do very little in this content. Like as I've said, Roger Odin doesn't really do a lot except for the EX that one stage. Similarly, like Dog for example, all he does is remove two turns of threshold on the stage nine. Like it's not a lot they do. A unit that carries hard the unit that carries the hardest are really the two Ray Leagues. Like Rion Ray League has a great sailor where he can get his special back fast when others use their special, and as you've seen, we've used quite a bit of special this round so far. So Relic was able to be used again without having to stall. And I used the Versus special here to get enough damage so that we on Relic can kill. So yeah, that's decently tight, I'd say. And yeah, this is not a team I recommend using, like we on Relic has to be level 150, for example, to be able to get that or boost. So yeah, not the best. I use Roger here, get some extra damage. And then I use Stog just to remove the threshold. Hawking support is just a fun little bonus. We're able to keep the death down conditional from versus Shanks this stage as well from very easy. Game. And yes, you see, we tree Relic is ready again. And his special is all we need. He'll change the block orbs and we'll get a big attack and war boost for the entire crew. And we can even use the rush here, so we're going to try and kill with the rush from Roger and Odin. And yeah, he did a great job with Relic's art as well. He looks a lot more menacing, both in the special animation and in the, the picture. The sprite looks better too, so I'm a big fan. But yeah, let's hit Sabo and Koala with the rush here and end this run. Yeah, very skill, is wrong. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.